Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to use CCleaner. It's free and easy to download. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by opening up an internet browser and I'm going to go ahead and open up IE. You can open up whichever one you like and I'm going to go to my favorite search engine which is Google and I'm going to start typing in CCleaner and then I'm going to click on CCleaner right there and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on Download CCleaner. And that will take me to the Periform download page for CCleaner. And then over on the first column, which is the free download of CCleaner, which is also the basic version. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Download button here. And in IE, I get this little prompt down here that says, do I want to run or save this to my hard drive? And I'm going to go ahead over to the right-hand side here and click on Save. Now, that uh, download C Cleaner to my hard drive. And at this point, it's completed. And I'm going to click on Run. And then um, I will get this user account control window, which asks me whether or not I want to authorize this program to be installed on my computer. And I'm going to click on yes, because I do want the installation of this program to get started. And uh, we get this window here. Let me go ahead and close this out, the uh, internet browser so we can see this a little um, easier. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And then the install options. I'm going to take all the defaults. So I'm going to click on next. And um, I'm not going to install the Google toolbar at this time. So I'm going to go over here and uncheck this because um, uh, I don't need it. But it, you can install it if you like. And then I'm going to click on next. And it uh, doesn't take long before the install is completed. And then um, I'm going to uncheck review notes and I'm going to go ahead and click on finish and it will automatically um, run uh, the C cleaner and open it up for me. And then we have on the application in the first column cleaner and then we have registry and then we have tools and then we have options and uh, by default cleaner is selected and then on the first tab here we have windows and then we have applications and under these two tabs you either check or uncheck the items that you don't want C cleaner to clean for you. Alright let's go down and click on analyze and that will uh, determine which files that C cleaner can um, clean for you permanently off your hard drive and um, it gives you totals as well and depending on um, the size of your hard drive and the performance of your PC it may take a few minutes. Alright, um, over here we can scroll down as you can see there's quite a number on this one and I'm going to go ahead and click on Run Cleaner and that's going to clean all those um, files that um, was determined under the analyze um, function uh, that needed to be cleaned and it went ahead and cleaned those for me off of my hard drive and then the next item over on the left hand column we have registry and uh, this will clean your registry um, that is located in your Windows operating system and uh, once you do it uh, lets you back it up first also keep that in mind alright under tools um, we have a couple of items that are worth mentioning and the first tool is the ability to uninstall any of the applications that are installed on your computer the next tool is startup which allows you to stop any programs that are running during your Windows boot up and then the next um, well there's a couple here but the next one disk analyzer uh, you can determine uh, which files on your hard drive is taking up your uh, most of your space and the next tool is the duplicate files tool um, you may not realize that you have a quantity of let's say 10 pictures and they're all the same picture you may want to go ahead and get rid of nine of them to save some disk space the next tool is system restore um, you can restore your windows system state um, within C cleaner and the last item is your drive wiper 
you can completely wipe a drive clean from C Cleaner and uh, have those files permanently removed off your hard drive. And the last tool we have is options and under options we have settings, cookies, um, we also have about and um, you, from here you can actually upgrade to the pro version if you like. Um, at any rate, um, that's how you use C Cleaner. Hope this uh, video helped. Subscribe and like my video.